get it? The rock. Yeah, we got it. The superhero movie you know what are you going to do with that and who yeah blue beetle is such a stretch because that was like a charlton comic book or something yeah and uh so it was just like oh boy um what is this doing here but you know i i, I hope they can make it work you know well, the only thing you can do with superheroes at this point for me you know and keep in yeah. mind i was at warner brothers when we were trying to get the, the marvel thing was kicking off and they were trying to get all their dc justice league universe lined up and into production and some of it was already in production and out and failing oh, yeah. miserably and there was catastrophe after you know every time a movie fails the studio rethink rethinks its grand strategy so you know movie would come out and be like <laughs> and it'd be like oh shoot what do we do but um the only thing you i think you can do at this point is do the lesser more comic humane characters that weren't really good superheroes and never quite measure up but want to yeah the audience can can kind of get into that because they're just yeah. a little bit more human and you know it's not just insane amounts of cg stuff going on and now right. you're just like oh, okay this looks like every other movie uh All we right. were you know i was working at warner's uh when they were doing the batman superman thing i was on the lot we were doing uh, i think we were there together Wars. actually yeah, I was doing storks with uh, with Nick Stoller over <laughs> over by the mill, and uh, one of the guys asked me. He says, "Oh, you you do love all the old movies. You love, you love Warner Brothers. You, you know you you're gonna go see Batman Superman." And I'm like, "Oh hell no!" He said, "Well, what would make you go see that?" I said, "If it was Bogart and Cagney, you know, could you see what? Bogart with?" And I said, "Could you see Bogart with the padded shoulders and the little curl and just you know and and." And Cagney's like down here in the rubber suit going, you know, hey, Squake, what are you made up for? I'm the Batman, see? Hey, fellas, well, see, get a load of the Batman over here. At the time, at the time, that would be a call. It, uh, <laughs> that, at the time, that would be a solid <laughs> casting choice. The problem is, though, is they would cl clearly have dismissed that content as subject for kids. And it would be like the 15 minute animated serial on Saturday mornings at the movie theater. So, um, oh but, my god, I would love to see that. I would pay absolute money to, to well, you know, to see that because it's just <laughs> what are you made up for? <laughs> we just did a show, and all on the it lingo, because, all the lingo. <laughs> we just got together with some of the former VPs of the studio and did a show on that because at the time that had bumped Dune to where Dune is now, coming out with yeah, part two. Now. Absolutely, it was either Dune or batman versus superman and batman versus superman won out because of the current trend and wolfgang peterson was the director mm -hmm. initially on it so we were all kind of going down memory lane on our remember on what we remember of that production at the time before peterson yeah. was um probably not too heartbroken about being shifted to something different <laughs> i don't i can yeah. see him doing a good job on it but i'd also do, I, I can also see him thinking like 
being confused in the evenings about it, being like, I should be doing something else. I should be on another picture already. Not this is a Batman and a Superman and these they're fighting each other. Anyway. Why don't we just do Doc Savage again and forget about the George Powell train wreck that happened, you know? I don't know enough about Doc Savage whether I would have to oh, but so, I have no friends named Ethan. I No, hold up. Okay, where's where me... this up? <laughs> so if someone mentioned Doc Savage in a production yeah. meeting, like the Tuesday, it was Tuesday mornings, I think, at Warner Brothers Feature Development, the production meeting. Someone said Doc Savage. I would know the title, and I would, unlike a lot of the executives there, say, hold up, give me two hours to research that. I'll come mm-hmm. back with whatever I can come back with on it. While other executives there would be like, not know what you're talking about and be like, yeah, Doc Savage, that sounds fantastic. Depending on who suggested it. If it's a guy oh, on their yeah. way out. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah. yeah. If it's a guy on his way out, Doc Savage is a terrible idea. If it's a new guy who's at the top, Doc Savage is an excellent idea. So you, the first thing you have to do as an executive is size up who suggested it. Then you go, hmm, yes, I should get behind it, but I don't know if I should get all the way behind it. I should have, I should be like <laughs> half behind it. <laughs> We're unlike Somebody I would call just legendary. Say, See if we can get it done. <laughs> legendary would be the outfit for that. They actually took over my old office, Building Ninety. But I would say that would be my thing. I would turn around and I'd go, let me research it and see what is there. You know, and then of course what they would do is they'd send it to a special department that would process all the possible earnings before they actually gave you the artillery and ammunition to say yes in the meeting. Crazy business. It's not done the way it probably should be done. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ah, Watch the children I'll be playing with one day. May you be happy in the life you have chosen, Ebenezer. For optimism was Tim's trade. The homes of rich and poor. Take me where you will. Toilet soap would begin using it Close the door. Yes, sir. It's Christmas Day, you <laughs> senile little man. 